What's up everybody? This is Gunter Severlo. Today I'm going to show you how to create a briefing and implement it into your mission. Step 1. Download the briefing template. In the description of the video is a link to download the briefing template. Once you have it downloaded, you could put it on your desktop or either in a new folder like I did here. In order to open the zip file, you'll need WinZip WinRAR or 7-Zip. Once you have those, right click the zip file and extract here. The extracted file will be the briefing.sqf. Step 2 Briefing Overview. Next, let's open the briefing sqf and to open this, you will need either Notepad, WordPad, or Note. I have no plus plus so let's open it up. The way this works is the briefing is usually upside down. When you read it in game all the stuff that is at the top will be at the bottom and all the stuff that's at the bottom will be at the top. So to start off let's go to the very top of the briefing. The first tab in the briefing will be notes situation. So what you'll see in the briefing in game you'll see the word situation at the top. When we go down a little bit, the next thing you'll see is briefing, title, example, or description. You can change this word here to whatever you want, and you can change this to whatever you want. I just put those there to be an example. Now these brackets here, it's basically a break. A break means a space. When you type something out, uh, what this does is it cre creates a space from the title or your description to what's inside the briefing. So I put two spaces and then I put a brief description. The enemy attacked our base. So that's our situation. Now if we scroll up a little bit, the next tab is the mission. Now again, you can name this whatever you want. I just named it mission. Now if we go down again, you'll see briefing title, example, or description. And again, you can put whatever you want here. You have your space and then you have the description of what your mission is about. So I put your mission is to kill the enemy. Now if we go up again, I have another tab and this is notes, credits. Now this could be credits or this could be supports or this could be how to do something in your mission or whatever. This is just an example. And if we went down again, on line 8 here we have a brief message about the credits and again you can change this to what you want. I put some spaces here and then an example uh, of an author you know because you're, you're giving credits to to an author for using his script or something and so you can put his author's name. You don't have to format it like this you could just put author and then just put whatever it's for. You're gonna want to have these brackets you could use one or you could use two the more you use, the more space it gets. If you use one, this this line here will pretty much be right under this line. If you use two, you'll have a space like this in the briefing. If you wanted to create another section like this, you just take this section from this line all the way down to this, and then just copy and paste. Press Control C, which copies that. And then we'll go up one space and just give it a space, a couple spaces actually, so that you have space in between uh, either side of it. And then press Control V and you have a new section. Now each section is a tab in the briefing. You'll, you'll see it once we're in game. All right, so we have two missions. Let's make this, we have the situation, we have a mission. And then let's make this execution, how we're going to execute the mission. So X EQ. And here we'll put how to play. And put it in capital letters. You'll, you'll see what I mean when you, when you get in there. And then we'll keep the space. You could put like a description here, like move to the enemy location and kill him something like that and each section of the briefing is you have the titles here 
and the title here that create the tabs in the briefing. So even though you have this here, that doesn't show up in game. What shows up in game as the title of a tab or a section, if you want, is this word. So this is the situation. And then you have mission. And then how to play. And then credits. Each one of these is a section. So this inside the code here is what creates the tabs inside the briefing. So if you wanted to create another tab, just copy and paste the sections like I showed you earlier, and then make sure that you change the name here for that section, and it will show up in game. So once you have that, then just press save, and you can exit that, and close the briefing. Step three, create a script to call the briefing script. Next, we need to be able to call the briefing SQF in the game. To do this, we have to create another script and open a notepad document, a wordpad document, or notepad++ document, whichever you prefer. I'm going to start with notepad. What we're going to put here is this code. So put this into your new document. It's going to be underscore n-u-l-l, -L, and then a space, then equals, then a space, a bracket, another bracket, then a space, and then e-x-e, c, capital v, capital m, and then space, quotes, briefing.sqf, which will be the name of the briefing, sqf, and then quote, and then a semicolon. Give it a few spaces, and then put two forward slash brackets, and then a space, type briefing tabs. Now this here is just basically a note. If you already have a file for this, then basically you could just paste this code to your existing file. Save this as a INIT player local SQF. So I'm going to type out INIT capital P L A Y E R. So INIT player and then L O C A L dot S Q F. Save that to the same area where you have your briefing SQF and here we are the player local SQF and you can close that step 4 move the scripts to your mission folder in this next step I'm going to go in game and create a simple mission here we are in the game and let's go to the editor and go to virtual reality press continue what we're gonna do is just put a soldier down and from there we're gonna save this as briefing demo press save now once you save the mission what that will do is create a folder for the mission now that we have our mission folder created, we're going to go back to the desktop and locate this folder. Now we need to locate the mission folder that we just created through the editor. So you're going to go to your local disk, then to users, your username, documents, and then ARMA3. Now in the ARMA3 folder, since this is uh, a single player mission we're gonna go to missions and for me I have folders set up for every map and inside those are the missions I created my mission will be in the virtual reality folder so I'm gonna open that up and our mission that we created is going to be right here I saved it as 
briefing demo. So this is the folder for the mission. I'm going to open that up. Okay, we've opened the mission folder, so let's minimize it now. And next, we're going to take these two scripts and put them in our mission folder. So you just highlight them both and drag and drop into our mission folder. Step five, test the briefing script in game. Next, we're going to go in game and open up the same mission and check out the briefing. We are now in game and let's play this and go to map where the briefing normally is. And here you should see a word that says briefing. We'll click on that. Each section that we created showed up. So these are all tabs. So each section is a tab. So this is a tab, that's a tab, etc. If we look at the top tab, and this is the briefing title example or description as I named it. And then we had a space and then our description. And then if we went to the next tab, we had the title of that tab the same thing and a description and then we created an extra tab its title its title here a description for it and then at the bottom of the briefing is the credits and we just had a brief message and then a little description for the credits of the author all right guys that includes the tutorial if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section below if you like this video and learned from this tutorial how to create your own briefings and implement them into your own missions please give me a like subscribe and click on the bell notification i will catch you guys on the next video bye